is Mass X with a new Bleach Immortal Souls video. We've got some brand new leaks from the great people at BizLeaks. I wanted to go through them today because there's actually some good stuff for once in there. Let's take a quick look here. Um, first off, Kakashi looks like is going to be the next Zompakuto manifestation that's going to come out. Also too, they've got the Renji skill set. Um, season 8 pass stuff and some new character models. Let's go ahead and take a look real quickly at Kakashi Shuhei Weapon Spirit skill set. Um, let's take a look here. It looks like it's going to be a UR, which is expected. Um, and yeah, let's take a look here. Looks like it's going to be more like a 1v1 unit according to them. The passive, let's get right to the meat of things. The passive is... Kakashi gains DR damage rate after each of his own attacks, stacks up to three times, lasts until the end of the battle. At the beginning of the battle, Kakashi marks the enemy with the highest attack. While marked, the unit is on the field. Kakashi interpretation gains 50% increased effect reduction and receives 25% reduced damage. That would be nice. Um... Interpretation 2 receives 25% reduced damage, could be DRR2, and activates Wind of Death. Wind of Death, Kakashi increases his reduced damage passive to be by 50%. When marked unit dies, Kakashi restores 400 rage and 25% of max HP. <clears throat> Mark reduces the target's damage reduction rate by 10%. Um, they made a note in there that they personally think that um, it's correct, so that's good to know. Um, everything else you can read on your own. Um, deals damage to a single enemy, 50% increased block pierce chance. If target has less than 70% HP, Kakashi deals an additional 60% damage. Reverse crush, execute like Grimjaw version 1 mastery. Nice, I like that. Rage, single target damage to enemy with the highest attack, 30% increased crit chance, reduces target DR by 10% for two rounds. Rage plus, single target damage to enemy with highest attack, 40% increased crit chance, reduces target DR by 15% for two rounds. If his HP is greater than target HP, deals 40% additional damage. Nice. Let's get into the Renji skill set here real quickly. It's going to be an SSR. It's passive, hot-blooded. Every time Renji is attacked, he gains increased defense and max HP. These effects stack up to five times and last until the end of combat. After every fourth attack, Renji recovers 150 rage and regenerates 8% of his total HP. Okay. Should be a decent frontline tank. Mastery, Umbrella Whirlwind, deals damage to a single enemy plus additional damage equal to 8% of Renji's total HP, not to exceed 160% of attack, dispels all buffs from the target. Nice, I like that too. Rage, uh, Zabimaru Crush, deals damage to all enemies with a 20% chance of taunting targets for one round. I love that. Love taunt. Reduce the crit chance of all targets by 10% for two rounds. After his rage attack concludes, Renji gains 20% increased damage reduction rate for one round. After Weapon Awakens, damage is greatly increased. The reduction to enemy crit chances increased to 15%. The base chance to taunt targets is increased to 25%, plus an additional 3% for every enemy that has died. And the buff to Renji's damage reduction rate is increased to 30%. Oof. Okay, definitely going to use Awakened Weapon. Luckily, you get that with the Season Pass. Awakened Zabumaro Crush. Deals damage to all enemies with a 25% chance of targeting. Okay, this is a repeat of what we just talked about. <clears throat> Here's some images. Let's take a look at that. Looks good. I know a lot of people are going to be really bummed if it's not his full mastery look, which I'm not sure about. Nope, definitely does not look like that at all. Interesting. And there's some frames. These are the frames that you're going to get when you do it. And Season Pass 8. Let's take a look here. Some new character models. They've introduced Matsu's Weapon Spirit, Matsumoto's. Let's take a look up close at what the featured one are. Oh, there's my Ori's. Oh, there's my Ori's. I cannot wait for that one. 
All right, part six, squad boss challenge is getting ready soon, expected in two to three weeks. I know people have been commenting, asking about that. So it looks like we can finally look forward to the squad boss challenge coming, thank goodness. Um, together with or right after chapter 26, it looks like, but they said don't quote them on that. Um, and one more thing, it's not a leak, a new feature is being added, version overview. Uh, you can, it's just a banner showing visors are coming in X days. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't really say much. Cute banner. whoop de doo Anything else? Guess that's it. Well, though, so we've got some exciting news today. So we definitely, um, we're getting Renji and he seems like a solid character as well as we're going to be getting the next Zompakto manifestation. So that's great. With that, like and subscribe. Leave your comments. What do you think about all this? Have a great day.